I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. I've really gone through a lot for the past okay. year. I've started, I started by telling you that day. I've been off the past YouTube for a while. I haven't been ago. fine. I've really been going through a lot and it's pretty much personal time. but I thought I would never be fine. I've been struggling, you all have been struggling, but it's personal, but I can give you some juice. I know you all want some juice. Every girl needs to hear some juice. I know I do, so yeah. So uh, we'll see what happens, but that's it. Life is not easy. Hmm? Life is not easy, girl. So yeah, but we move on regardless. hey everyone welcome to my channel if you're new here thank you for clicking that button my name is jenny and for my returning subscribers hello it's really good to have you here again so guys it's been a while it's been really a long while i took a very long break off youtube like a year and uh, some months so during this period a lot has been going on or what's going on with my life so i decided to just take a break and you know what just figure everything out chill and look at my life try to put a few things in place but that's a story for another day so today i decided to film a makeup look for you guys so if this is something you're interested in uh, then you should Definitely keep watching till the end and if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button and Hit the notification bell so that you get notified every single time I upload a new video because now we are going to be consistent So to draw my brows today, I'm using my good old Davis eyebrow pencil. You all know these brow pencils because it's the one that we have around. You get it literally everywhere. It's very affordable. Like I think it goes for 50 shillings to 100 shillings. I'm using number 03. I always use number 03 or 018 depending on how i feel if i want my brows to be a little bit lighter i could go with number 018 if i want darker i go with 03 those are the only two shades of the this pencil i use please don't use a black pencil for your eyebrows girl do not do not please kindly we are not we are not going for that kind of look so to do that uh, or before i actually use my pencil you've seen that i'm going in with my becca mattifying primer and i use this all over my brows combing through i use that to comb through my brows and what this does is that it lays my hairs and also makes the area around the brows to be matte so this technique i actually learned this technique from the famous rosina sharon so shout out to rosina sharon for being my mentor in makeup you know uh Thank you. 
so next i went in to clean my brows so for this i'm using a legal pro concealer in fawn and uh, dark cocoa uh, now i lost clips i th actually thought i recorded this part but later on when i was doing my editing i realized that i had lost clips on this part so i'm really sorry guys but i'll just explain so that you understand so i used the phone phone as you can see is the lighter one that is the one i used to clean my brows so the technique is one i used a flat brush which i go i normally like to go in by pinching it to make it very very flat and then i dip it in my concealer and then i start to closely go i go as close as possible to that line that i drew in the first place just take your time take your time to do this part so as i do that i drag the concealer down i draw a line drag the excess concealer concealer down sorry and then i went in with uh, this dense brush uh which is from yeah, it's from real techniques guys blending brush so it's the one that i used to blend out my concealer and then i went in with the dark cocoa at the inner corner of the eyebrow and outer corner of the eyebrow because girl you don't want hello eyebrows ain't nobody trying to work with hello eyebrows in 2022 girl so please huh? blend out your concealer okay okay enough of that i'm just trying to say that you need to blend out your concealer use that darker shade or your con not concealer but your foundation shade on the outer and inner corners of your brows and then on the upper part of your brows always please always go in with your foundation shade On to the eyes I'm using NYX Jumbo eye pencil and I'm using this as an eyeshadow base so I as you can see I'm just applying it all over my eyes and then I go in with my eyeshadow blending brush to ensure that I blend it out pretty well and then also blend in the harsh edges take your time to blend this well before you actually start applying your eyeshadow So for eyeshadow i'm using take me back to brazil and i'm using a brown shade on my crease then i went on to blend the edges of this brown shade using some yellow pigment and this is to avoid the harsh lines and then i just went on to deepen the outer corners of my eyes using a black pigment from the same same palette so for this i'm using a very small and precise brush to place this black pigment on the outer corners of my eyes and then, then i go in with another fluffier brush to blend it out so let me just let you guys watch what i'm doing and learn
Then to catch my crease, I'm using the same NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. And then uh, once I'm done with that, I'm using some champagne pigment from another different palette. I'm placing on the crease area and because I want it still to look extra, I went in with some liners. I'm using this colorful liner. I don't know the name, I just got it from my plug. Uh, I don't know the name, I won't lie to you. So on top of that, I'm using the Karite Glitter Liner because we are looking, we, we are going for the extra look because why not, you know? of change been through a lot of pain some things are not the same as they were a year ago but all will be okay i move on each and every day the past is where it stays way back a year ago i've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change Been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same As they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago a year ago
finally Ooh, onto the skin guys my favorite favorite part so for skin you already did the skin prep so what i'm doing now is just to apply my primer i'm using the same primer becca primer and uh, i am applying this majorly on the t-zone that is the forehead and my nose region and i'm rubbing it into my skin and then i let it sit a bit before i go in with my foundation so for, so for foundation today i'm using the maybelline fit me foundation in 360 mocha that's my shade and i just place it all over my face and then i go in with my foundation brush taking care or not to just tap it in i'm tapping the brush in not dragging it but tapping it in as i move that way my foundation just stays in place so once i was done with that i went in with a beauty blender a damp beauty blender to also help in blending that foundation in To highlight I'm using Maybelline Fit Me Concealer I don't remember the name or the shade but I'm placing this under my eyes on the bridge of my nose on my cupid's bow on my chin and on, the, on my forehead and then I go in with a damp beauty blender to blend this out Then to set all the highlighted areas i'm using a loose powder i don't remember the name but i'm going to leave that i'm going to write it down somewhere so you'll have the name so i'm just placing this powder all over the areas that i highlighted and i'm actually going to leave this to also bake yes guys i do bake sometimes so today is one of those days i'm baking so as i'm baking I'm actually dancing you can see I'm just having some fun because it takes a little bit of time to bake so as this is happening guys I just want to give you a little bit of some story time I've really gone through a lot for the past year as I started I started by telling you that I've been off YouTube for a while and I haven't been fine I've really been going through a lot and it's pretty much personal but I've been struggling you all have been struggling but but your girl is fine now and you can see I'm actually happy I'm at a happy place and I thank God for this 
so maybe one day just maybe in the near future very soon i will be okay to do a, a sit down with you guys and just share a little bit of what happened in my life it's personal but i can give you some juice i know you all want some juice every girl needs to hear some juice <laughs> i know i do so yeah so uh, we'll see what happens but that's it life is not easy hmm? life is not easy girl so yeah but we move on regardless moving on moving on guys so we move on to contouring so contouring as you can see my face is as flat as a potato mm -hmm. i don't know <laughs> okay my face is just as flat as i don't know what but i'm trying to give it some definition so that's why you need to do contouring it's very very important so we normally have powder contouring and cream contouring so whatever i'm doing today is called cream contouring because i'm using cream and if you're using if you are to do powder contouring you want to use a powder so you want to use a powder for contouring you want to use a shade that is two shades darker than your normal skin tone so for beginners i'd advise that you do powder contouring just because it's easier than cream contouring and what you want to do is place your product uh, on the areas that you want to create some depth and these are definitely uh, on the forehead on your forehead near your hairline on your cheeks and on the little bit of the product on the sides of your nose and then you go into blend using a brush like I'm doing or you can use your beauty sponge then to make my contour sharp you know to make it more sharp i went on and did what you call reverse contouring and to reverse contour you just use a lighter powder and you place it just beneath you draw like a line beneath where you had contoured and you can see what i'm doing just follow girl just follow what i'm doing just follow what i'm doing in general be good so you just want to do that and i also did that under my eyes and that is just to sharpen my nose you know make my nose highlight to be very sharp these stages are optional but if you want um more defined and very nice makeup look then you want to do these steps remember this is a full makeup so yeah that's why we're doing all this nauseous believe me never had a lot of sh come easy had to work hard struggle just to be me had to rise up just so they could see me did what i had to do just to feed me and what was left over i put towards my dreaming but the only thing in life that has meaning are the things you gotta work for believe me take into your hands a plan your own hands can land your own brand and damn I feel like no one takes accountability They want the credibility Convincingly unwilling to put in the f***ing hours It takes to get some power Don't be f***ing sour Take a cold shower Scream until you're louder Work until you're prouder And f*** all the doubters They're just your downers I swear to God they all let me down I always fought just to wear the crown I'm f***ing off at the end
Then to set my contour, I went in with uh, the palette. I forgotten the name here, but I'm going to leave it down once again. So I'm using that dark shade and placing that all in all the parts that I had cream contoured just to set my contour in place so that my contour does not move around during the day. I'm just telling you to fight for your dreams But it's not what it seems Man, it's hard to be seen When everybody wants to be king Yeah, they all want to ring Yeah, we all want to be free So show me what you got, what you bring How you fight in the ring How you take a fucking swing Do you got heart? Are you mean? Got some scars, got some needs Are you willing to go bleed? I swear to God, they all let me down I always fought just to wear the crown Then for blush, I just went in with some orange, a light orange shade uh, from my eyeshadow palette. I used an eyeshadow pigment for this and I'm just placing this on the apples of my cheek and blending it into my concealer and uh, contour, actually not concealer, but I'm blending it into my contour. Then once I was done with this, I just dusted off all of my reverse contour, that powder that is remaining on my face. I dusted it all out uh, using. So, what I did is you want to have your face powder, and then you dip your brush in your face powder, and then use that to brush off that excess powder. I hope you understand that and then once I was done with that to remove that powdery effect that you get from applying all these powders you want to go in with your setting spray so today I'm actually not using a setting spray but I'm using my rose water as a setting spray so you could actually use rose water as a setting spray it does wonders guys so yeah, that's my little hack for you so I'm just spraying this all over my face. Then once I'm done with this, I go in with my highlighter because we are glowing to the gods. <laughs> we are glowing to the gods. So I'm placing this on the highest points of my cheek, on my nose, the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow. Yeah, and then on my, I don't know how it's called, apokwa eyebrows where we highlighted uh, yeah you'll see me place it i've forgotten the name so you want to do that and as you do that ensure that you also blend it in using a brush and go back in with a with a, a sponge so that you don't have those harsh lines or streaks you want all your makeup to come together beautifully you know so yeah So once I was done with all this, I came back to finish up with my eyes and for this I just went in with a black uh, eye pencil, still this is uh, from Davis eye pencil, so I'm using this to smudge, I'm just smudging it uh, on my lower line uh, and uh, to set that I went back in with a black eyeshadow from the check me back to brazil palette the one i used and on, on the corners of my eyes right guys if you remember that is the same shade i'm actually using to set and smoke out my lower lower lash line and then i go down beneath that i still go with like a pinkish color so i use a black and then follow with a pinkish one just rubbing it in yeah to smoke it out then that was pretty much uh, everything for the eyes once i was done with the eyes i moved to my lips and then for my lips i used these two lippies the joanna k lipstick from uh, it's called limuru and then i used the nyx lingerie i don't remember the name but i think i'll find it out and leave it somewhere 
for you guys so i'm creating an ombre look yeah so i started with the joanna k Liburu, and then used the lighter shade of the lips lingerie lippy and then went into blend it out and once this was done i went back in with my setting spray to just melt my makeup together you know don't want that powder look. and guys i think that's all yeah that was all for this look to put in the hours it takes to get some power don't be f***ing sour take a cold shower scream until you're louder work until you're prouder and f*** all the doubters they're just your downers i swear to god they all let me down i always fought just to wear the crown i'm f***ed off at these f***ing clowns who were all taught they deserve an ounce it's only worth it if you work for it it's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown So if you really like, I love, love, love how this look turned out, guys. I really, really love it. It was a very nice look. So if you've learned a thing or two, please don't forget to appreciate me by liking my video. Just hit that like button. Share my videos with your friends and family. And uh, also don't forget to subscribe, please. Don't forget to subscribe. Just subscribe. Please don't leave before subscribing. Please. Pretty please. Okay. Okay, okay. But seriously, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button before you leave. And then hit the notification bell so that you get notified every single time I upload a new video because we are not just doing makeup videos we are doing more i'm doing uh, cooking tutorials i'm doing i'm just sharing with you it's not like i know how to cook but i'm sharing with you, with you some really nice nice tasty meals that i love 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 how to do you know they're really tasty not like you don't know how to cook you do know how to cook but sometimes we learn from each other so I feel like I could share with you some of my ideas and you also share with me some of what you want me to do and your girl is gonna do it for you so yeah so thank you so much for this support if you've reached this far girl then you're a queen you're so sweet thank you thank you so much for for for, for, for this so thank you until next time I want to say that may God bless you uh stay safe till we meet for the next video so thank you so much for this bye guys bye see you and love you Mwah, mwah, mwah.